this week is very interesting because I didn't prepare a dish and I'm also on vacation in the Caribbean. As you can see, it's extremely sunny and beautiful, perfect for tanning. No, actually, there was a huge storm earlier. But anyway, yeah, since I don't have a set dish that I can do here, I'm going to take stereotypical tropical things and combine a bunch of stuff that goes good together and see how it goes. So, stay gnarly and stick around. So now we are headed off to the extremely expensive food store where pears cost $4 each and we're going to get some local things. Better get in the shop soon, there's a storm. Minutes 
So, in the time that the rice is doing, we can start to prepare some of the other stuff, such as this plantain. So you don't peel it like a banana, and you don't eat it like a banana. You have to cut the ends off. And then, like, cut a slit down the side. You can see that. You can see that. You can And it's kind of starchy, like a root vegetable, I guess. But yeah, you have to peel it if you have it. So I guess for the plantain, we'll chop it up kind of into smallish pieces, like, like this, I guess. And then we have to boil them, maybe five minutes, just to get them kind of parboiled. And then we'll see what to do with them after that. So yeah, boiling some plantains for five minutes. So I guess now we'll start to marinate the scallops with this jerk seasoning, which is quite popular in the Caribbean. So I guess we'll just pour some out, and then we'll kind of put the scallops, and it should stick to the scallops. Okay, so now we're going to caramelize one or two onions, one and a half onions, because caramelized onions are good. But, of course, even though we're on vacation, we're still going to keep the TGB rules. So, to use a pan with very little oil, you just put some on, then you use a paper towel and kind of rub it around like this, and then you don't have to use tons of lard. Now we gotta put them in the pan, otherwise they won't caramelize out here. Not. You see, you don't need that much oil or fat to get a good caramelizing sound like that. Woohoo! Backflip! Okay, so now we're gonna add a bit of the onions to the rice, and we're gonna add a bunch of other stuff to the rice too, like, um, I have. Okay, I have some black beans that are already cooked. So I'll just add some of those, because I'll add some other ones to the other thing. And I guess we can add some tomatoes as well. And yeah, pretty much, oh yeah, we also have some spices and stuff. Like I can add some more of that jerk seasoning that I use on the scallops. And yeah, we'll see what else comes to mind. And I'll also add a little bit of turmeric to the rice to give it an epic color and an epic taste. And also apparently turmeric is good for you, but using such small quantities, I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. If only I can get this open now. Again, just grease a pan like we did with the last one. And then here I have like a chopped courgette and some chopped tomatoes. So add it like it was something that needs a lot of acid without spilling. So now we're going to add a few more other things, like we have these locally grown tiny blue peppers. So we're going to add some of those, and we have some peas, and we'll just add some of those. And then we'll add some black beans, and then we're going to add plantains. And we have other things that you think might go, like um, other vegetables and other spices then you can add them. And also, we're going to add a bit of cumin to the rice and then mix it around. And to the mix as well. And we're not going to add the seafood stuff until later because it only takes a few minutes to cook. But then mix it around like it was something that needed a lot of mixing. Okay, so the stove should be on medium-ish or so, and I'm guessing that these vegetables are going to take another 10 minutes or so to cook. And the seafood will be just under 10 minutes, so we have a few minutes. And also, we're going to add our caramelized onions and garlic from earlier. And also, um, you want to add to turn the stove up a little bit, get it a little bit bubbling, I guess. So then it's hot when the seafood stuff goes in. Oh yeah, when I say the seafood stuff, that's excluding the scallops. The scallops are going to basically put on the pan really quickly, right before we serve. So yeah. Just wait a few minutes, and then we're going to put the seafood stuff in, and then wait another few minutes. So you want to mix the rice occasionally, making sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom or anything, and also to get all those nice herbs and spices mixed around. And now it's time to add the 
seafood combo, which came all the way from Florida. Ooh, lots of scallops. Oh yeah, and then mix it around. Look, it was something that needed a lot of mixing. Okay, so now that this stew thingy mabobo with the seafood and the vegetables and all that plantains and all that good stuff is almost done, pretty much done. We're gonna move this to the back and then we're gonna get out our good frying pan and we're gonna grease it like we always do in the green mini without much oil. And then we're gonna start the scallops, which will only take a few seconds. Well, not seconds, but we'll see. And you don't wanna overcook the scallops because that's a sign of a total noon. So after about one minute of the scallops on this side, then you want to turn the scallops over carefully and make sure that they don't fall apart. And then you, I guess you do another minute on this side. So now it's time to serve everything like a boss. So presentation is really important and since we have fancy stuff all around us, we're going to garnish it with some really fancy stuff. Like I can even use this banana leaf that I picked. And then we're going to serve this mix and we're going to serve some rice. And then we're going to put scallop in the middle, and then a bit of lime. And we can have it with this beautiful coconut juice that came from the coconut. Where else would it come from? Serve it like a boss. So that was Green Beanie 42 for you. And remember that 42 is the meaning of the universe. But, so yeah. Um, Gnarly made like a boss, just like every other Green Beanie episode. And if you haven't seen the other Green Beanie episodes, then you can go ahead and check them out after you watch this video and subscribe for a new one every single week. And I think that's it, so stick around and bye for now.